Steve, tell us a little bit about um, what you've brought to the show here. Um, it looks like there's some added firepower on this vehicle. So talk about what you brought. Yeah, so we're really excited to be here, right? And uh, you've seen our ISV vehicle. And what we've done recently is taken that light, agile, nine, nine troop transporter designed for all terrain and turned it into an electric vehicle. So what you see behind me here is our EISV or our, or our all electric military concept vehicle. The reason why we've done that is twofold. One is we want to demonstrate that we have the ability, General Motors Defense is bringing this huge investment from GM in advancing electric, autonomous, and commercial and, and connected vehicles. We're now doing that in the defense market as well. Obviously, we're doing it in the commercial market. Now we can translate that into requirements that meet soldier needs. So this vehicle, within a number of weeks, we took a standard ISV, we took out the internal combustion engine, we replaced it with a battery electric propulsion system, and now we've had this vehicle out with the, you know, we've had it with the Army at the MCOE at Fort Benning. We've had the Ranger Regiment is evaluating it. We have a lot of special operations forces. It's really a great capability. The other aspect that I'll talk about is you can see there's some other things on it now. We're highlighting uh, to, today at the show a remote weapon station with a minigun, so upgun capability. And if you look way up, you can see the UAV over it. What we're demonstrating is that when you go to an all electric vehicle, it opens the aperture in what you can do in terms of mission systems. So when you bring organic power like we have in this, battery power, you can silently power a number of different capabilities. ISR assets, the UAV to fly forward to be able to visualize the battle space ahead of the troops, the weapon systems. All these power demands are handled by our battery electric power. So we're really excited about it. Absolutely. So talk a little bit more about the electrification process. And GM Defense, you're really, you're really interested in going all the way to all electric, not just hybrid. Um, so talk about how you've been going about doing that on the military side. Yeah, so on the military side, the, the challenge is not that we can't build an electric vehicle. I mean, GM is going to build, you know, millions of electric vehicles now. We've made this commitment to an all electric future. So when you translate those to defense requirements, if you look at rear echelon uh, activities now, base operations, we can do that today. There's infrastructure that exists that we could plug vehicles in and charge them up, and we're, we're developing new fast charging capabilities. All will be applicable in the defense world. What's different in the defense environment is the ability to move vehicles like this to the tactical edge, to operate them in the fight. And so what we're doing with our all-electric concept vehicle is getting soldier feedback. We use these soldier touch points to give us insight how we can best develop the next generation of electric vehicles. And when it comes to the next generation electric vehicles, the E, the, so the ELRV, the electric light reconnaissance vehicle, that's going to be the Army's first fully electric vehicle built from the ground up. Just like we did with the ISV, which was built on a Chevy Colorado, a great vehicle, we're going to build the EIS, the ELRV, on on uh, the um, the Hummer EV. So you may have seen, you know, we're just now getting it into the first production vehicles have been built. They're going into showrooms now. GMC's Hummer EV is an amazing vehicle. It's a thousand horsepower super truck. We have that now to build the you know the the Army's first all electric vehicle on and we'll be doing that working very closely with the army as we prepare for the RFP to to offer the uh, ELRV based on the Hummer EV.